Hey guys, welcome to Car Guy 1999 reviews as well as Quirk Auto Dealers. Today we have the 2022 Kia Stinger GT. This one's finished in a brand new color for 2022. I want to make sure I say it right. Ascot, I almost said apricot. Ascot green over black. This one here stickers at 47090. This is sweet. Ascot green. For 22, different badging, different tail lights, different exhaust, a slight horsepower bump. The GT line gets a whole new motor, the 25 out of the K5 GT tuned for 300 horsepower. Uh, and this also features the new Kia badge. So, new lighting, new badge, new exhaust, and more horsepower. That all sounds absolutely awesome to me. I have like 20 minutes before a severe thunderstorm comes through, so hopefully I'll be able to get these last two done. This is car 13 for today. So, oh yeah. I film a lot of cars a day. That new exhaust sounds awesome. I'm gonna start it in normal drive, and then about halfway through, I'll begin use of the paddles. Maybe because some people might just buy this as a luxury car, others are like, oh, I wanna see it sporty. I will say though, the thing with the Stinger, and same with the Genesis G70, because they're the same platform, they feel a lot faster than they actually are. The way it delivers power is just all at once, and it's just boom, like a sledgehammer. It really is quick. Um, and I'm hearing rumors the Stinger is going away after this year, which... I really hope it isn't, because this is brilliant. But nobody buys them. I mean, look. Look at all these GT lines we have. Nobody buys them, and it's so sad. And we have one in the showroom, too. Oh. You know, I wasn't driving slow cars today either. Almost every car I drove today had a V8. So, I That new exhaust really sounds good. Uh, that was the one complaint I had with the Stinger, is it just didn't sound the part. Um, this isn't loud by any means, but it's definitely a good improvement. I'm happy with it, uh, especially because you can go through and customize everything. You go into home, go into setup, vehicle, and an active sound design, and you can go through here, driver's assistance, drive mode. Now, eight speed torque converter auto, not a dual clutch, not a uh, DSG. So, some people that's a turn off. For me, I like it that way. Smooth, reliable, comfortable power. 
I can't complain. Uh, it's just overall a great transmission. No complaints at all. Oh, that sounds so good. I don't know, it has that uh, Maserati Ghibli vibe to the sound. I mean, they're both turbo V6s, so they're gonna sound similar, but especially with this new exhaust. When I sit there and I look at the Stinger and every time I drive them, they're just, oh, I almost bought one. Seriously. I was seriously considering trading my Challenger in for one. And I don't know. They need to do a final edition. If they get rid of it, they need to do a final edition. I mean, they just did this refresh on it. 2023 give this thing 400 horsepower even you know, do a special edition if you're gonna get rid of it because it's just too good to let drift off into the night this is what happened with the Chevy SS that was an awesome car the four-door sedan based on the op uh, Holden that was an awesome car but we enthusiasts we loved them but we didn't buy them that's what's happening with the Stinger that's how these awesome cars go away, is nobody buys them. And it's an issue because we want more cars like this, but we don't buy cars like this. So that said, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.